Expeditions from Stonemaier Games, which is Scythe 2.0. I'm very excited that today I'm going to share you the components in this box. I literally just received this one. And hi, by the way, I'm Stella from Mipo University. Let's have a look at what's in it. So I have actually unboxed the game. So I'm not going to punch together with you or anything like that, but I do keep this in here thinking that I might actually keep everything in place, maybe, maybe not, but you'll see, you'll see soon. So uh, this is how I actually put all the components together. Now, as usual, Stonemaier Games is pretty good with giving instructions on how to put things together. Like on the side of the box here, there, is, there are instructions on how to put things together. So um, I mainly follow that instructions, but maybe not the whole lot um, but i think this works for me so this is the i believe this is the base or the map board the base of the map board where you put all the tiles above it like that there is the solo mode and there's journal and there is the rule book obviously and this has got the material like the previous stone maya game so it has this Ah, kind of like, what is that material called? It's very fancy. <laughs> I'll find out what it is. So here we are. It's the back of the box. I always put, now I always take the plastic out of the box just in the case or there's something hidden in it. I mean, usually there isn't. But when I forget to do it, then there's something hidden. Anyways, so let's see. Let's have a look at this. So there's just two holes here, which is awesome to try to um, help you to bring this out, pop this out. But I'm sometimes a bit too ginger, so let's do this. There you go. And here we go. I like this. It's trying to keep things together in it. All right, now we have everything else. So this little player minis oh my gosh i should probably paint this i should probably get our friend henry i don't know if you've seen our painting video but we've done painting video for star wars and lord of the rings game so this would be a nice one look at this and then there's this one as well so each mini um, is corresponding to the player board so this one for, for example lumberjack uh, lumberjack is this one over here i believe da -da -da looks the same and then there is Odin's Wrath, Wrath which is this one there's also Highlander which is probably this one looks like this one there you go oh so um it might not be we'll, we'll see so this is I think that is Marsh Strider probably oh no it's this one Tatanka is that one and then this one is Marsh Strider, which is this one. Do, 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 do. It's very cool. All right. Um, these minis are pretty detailed, I think. I'm not really that experienced with minis, but just for by the look of it, I've seen worse ones, I guess. All right. So here are the components. So the suggestion is um, I'm, I don't know what I've done wrong. This is the base for these minis. I don't know if this meant to fit this like a little round thing that in there that you can put i mean i thought i could but i couldn't so it's suggested to put this um, mini base and just uh, this which is the player token so i'll just leave it there for now in this bag is i believe these are the corruption tokens that you put in the bag so all of them there very chunky tiles this is part of the game that you put out when you i believe when you put out Location tiles, I'm speaking about location tiles, here it is. So the hexes, so the hexes tiles are here. So these are sorted by back. So there's um, the area where you put it. So this will be placed above here from the south tiles and then the central and the north that would be face down at the start of the game. I'm thinking of it like Fog of War in PC games. Anyways, so those are the tiles and this is the top of it. So each tile has got number and has got the actions that you do 
uh, depicted on the bottom, the, I believe that's the gather action, which is what you do. So on your player board, this is not how to play, but I will just quickly show you here. There's move, play, and gather, and you just do this action. It depends on where your target is. You might do all three, but most times you're probably going to do two or three, and that's the gather action. That's what you gather. Um, so let's have a look at the components. Now, this is actually uh, something that you can stick underneath your player board because there are times where you need to tuck cards under your player board. If you want to make it, it's optional. You put it there so it will raise the player board a little bit and it will give you um, easier access, I guess, to put the cards here, the cards here, the cards here, wherever you see these symbols, there you can tuck cards. Coins. I do have the the deluxe coin scythe edition so i'm probably going to use that and it looks really similar i think it probably looks the same uh these map tokens and this is the workers now the workers are not player pieces to begin with i believe that's why they're separate from there and uh these tokens this is so cute these tokens are the workers that you can recruit into your card play area coming from here uh, these tiles for example uh, here's another corruption, special corruption token. And here I put the cards. This is the card that you put in the middle of the map. You can see here, there are some cards that you put there. Um, these are the cards that you can put into your tableau. You can collect for points, a different type here. The quest cards. And this, uh, I can't remember the name, but the different type of cards. I've tried to shuffle this. Uh, uh, yeah, I should probably share you the pictures a little bit. So it's totally reminded you of Scythe. So all the components here. What we'll do, we will have a review video for expeditions. And we will compare in particular how it is compared to Scythe. So I will release that later, maybe sometimes in June. There you go. So all these, it's kind of reminds you of um, Scythe, I think, I think anyway. So there's one more compartment I haven't shown you, and that's hidden underneath this one. Ta -da! So these are the solo, I believe it's got Universal Automa cards for all Stonemaier games. So there you are. And this one are uh, the uh, player reference cards. This one's uh, double-sided and icons explanations and the starting cards. So there are different starting cards for there are six different ones. Although you play, this is one to five place game. I guess this is, this means that you just you can choose between different characters. So, you start if you have Akiko and Akiko's companion is Jiro, yeah, little monkey. Matthew has got a companion of Wolf. So he has this logo in here, number one. So it belongs to the same one, number one, number one. Number two, number two. Uh, Anna, number three, has a companion, a bear companion. How cool is that? I wish I've got a bear pet. Vesna has got a companion of Robotic dog. That's, that's pretty cool. Hmm? Number five, Gunter has got a companion of wolf. I think is that wolf? Yeah, wolf. That's wolf. That's kind of wolf or dog maybe. And Olga has got a companion of tiger. Are very cool. So those are the characters, and that's it. It is so much smaller than side box. I mean. Probably a little bit smaller, not so much smaller, but I can see that there are gaps in here. I mean, these are, I don't know if I should probably stack them like that. Maybe there will be uh, more cards as expansions, I don't know. And even the tiles as well, you can see tiles are here. And there are still space for more tiles, you can see from the side. And that is basically it everyone i'm very excited i want to play this we are going on holiday soon i am considering to bring this it is a big game so i don't know i don't know it is a domestic flight but still a flight that means that i have to buy more luggage space i don't know should i bring should i bring expeditions to my holiday maybe
maybe not so uh, that is basically the inside of it um have you heard of it let me know in the comments are you excited for it did you play scythe or not and what do you find out about this i am very excited to play this and i will definitely share you how it goes sorry i have to put this one back um and another question is do you keep the punch board so you can see that there are moving components there's things it should probably stay like that but i sometimes forget when i bring this to a meetup or somewhere i will put it sideways in ikea bag that's how i usually transport my components anyway so do you keep the punch board question of the day do you keep the punch board to try to then oh i forgot to put this on uh, that's okay i can just put it up here it doesn't really matter do you keep this to try to level up? It's not even like reaching the top of the box. So at least it holds it in since it's not shaky or uh, the, the lid come off or anything like that. But it looks like the lid is pretty secure anyway. So I don't know. I keep it for now because once I chuck it out, I could not take back. But mostly I chucked it out if it has got bags components. But this particular trace, we'll see. But let me know. And are you excited? of exhibitions and thank you so much for watching every single like comments view are really helpful so let us know that you're there and hopefully you're doing something super super fun see you next time